Last year's refugee crisis hit Europe hard, but can the crisis be resolved in 2016? Could the Strasbourg plenary perhaps find solutions to the months ahead? It's time to find out. Welcome to the agenda. A new year brings with it a new presidency as Netherlands takes over the reins of the EU Council. The usual declarations of live long and prosper have been made, but the Dutch have some tricky waters to steer. Top of their agenda for their six-month tenure will be getting to grips with a migrant crisis and whether protecting EU borders could mean disabling the Schengen Agreement. Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte and Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker will be present in the chamber for a debate with MEPs on Wednesday morning. Is Europe headed for a democracy crisis as Poland veers off track? An October election swept the Eurosceptic Law and Justice Party to power, who have since come under fire from Brussels for introducing laws that threaten fundamental rights. The European Commission, in an unprecedented move, has now launched an inquiry into whether these new laws break EU democracy rules. If so, they could invoke Article 7 of the Lisbon Treaty, suspending Poland's voting rights in the EU Council. Now to her own parliament, she declared that democracy is alive and well. But what will Prime Minister Beata Sedua have to say before MEPs at the chamber in Strasbourg? Follow the debate on Tuesday. Have you heard about TISA, the Trade and Services Agreement, currently under negotiation that would open up services to foreign companies? The Services Agreement has been criticised for negotiations being shrouded in secrecy, just like TTIP the transatlantic trade deal. But also, just like TTIP, it would open foreign markets to European companies. But to get a little, you have to give a little. Could that mean that public services are up for grabs? MEP say no. What should be the red lines? In Strasbourg, the Trade Committee will hold an extraordinary meeting to vote on a set of do's and don'ts to be presented to negotiators. And now for some news in brief. It was a unanimous decision to hear France's call for help following multiple attacks in Paris. But how should member states contribute to France's war on ISIS? MEPs debate the way ahead with a vote on Thursday. Upgrading Europe's digital prowess hurtles forward as MEPs hold their own non-binding vote on the digital single market strategy. And don't forget to tune in for a key debate where both European Council President Donald Tusk and European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker will be quizzed by MEPs on the European Council meeting that took place in mid-December. Could a new emissions testing system for cars make the Parliament invoke its right to veto? Instead of being tested in the lab, car emissions can now be tested on the road. MEPs from the Environment Committee have called the change unjustified and oppose it. Will the full House share their opinion? A debate takes place on Monday. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.